grateful to have this opportunity so frequently that we might share in the Lord's Supper. Simple song just says, I'm going to stay under the blood. I'm going to stay under the blood. Bread and he brings it. 
Instead of just dividing it and passing it out, he says, take, eat. This is my body. The disciples began to look confused because they don't understand what's going on. But then the Bible says after the same manner, he took a cup. And after tasting of the cup, he said, now this is the New Testament. In my blood. In other words, don't look for the doorpost anymore. Because now, there to your heart, the blood will be applied. And without the shedding of blood, y'all don't hear me this afternoon, there is no remission for sins. In other words, what Christ was telling them is, I am going to institute something new called communion. You don't have to celebrate the house anymore. Because now the blood will cover your life. And whatever I see the blood. Whenever the devil sees the blood, I ain't trying to get into my sermon, but whenever the hex, whenever the witch or the warlock, whenever the car accident, whenever, whenever, whenever I see the blood. People ask you why have you been sick and you're still here? You got a reason to tell them it's because of the blood. How did you survive through what you went through because of the blood? How, how, how? How are you still standing? How do you still have your life? Right how? How do you It's because of the blood. I've been washed. Been traced, been clothed. I mean, camouflaged in it. The blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. The Apostle Paul spoke of the sacred nature of this suffering, tells us to examine ourselves. You know where you stand with God. Yeah. If you are out of alignment with God, I got good news. You are one prayer away yeah. from being in right standing with the Lord. Yeah. And I want to pray that prayer with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, search our hearts today. If we find anything that we not like you, take it out and strengthen us. Father, we want to be right, we want to be saved, and we want to be whole. But the only way to be that way is if you forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of those things knowingly and unknowingly. Cleanse us and make us new, creating us a clean heart. Renewing us a right spirit. Restore unto us the joy of your salvation. And please don't take your spirit from us. Father, we confess that we have sinned against heaven time and time again. But we are asking God that you will forgive us. That we might be worthy to partake in this summer. We love you today and we praise you. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. amen.
Thank you, God.